Hello everyone, and welcome to more of Post and Walker. Uh, today is the day! I mean, this is probably going up on the 4th, um, but today is the day! <coughs> uh, growing Light has come out. Um, that means that this is the final set of patches and things. The, 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 this is the final, like, section, you know, of this Endwalker storyline. Um, which is really exciting. Um, I believe we will be going to face Zeromus. Which is cool. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot of hype. Um, around going to fight Zero Mist for, I think it's Final Fantasy IV players. Like, people have played Final Fantasy IV. Um, I have not fully willing to admit that. So, you know, doesn't mean nearly as much to me as I'm sure it does to some people. Um, just like how I haven't played Final Fantasy XII, so the story of Ivelisse is kind of not as amazing um, to me as it is to perhaps players of FF12. Um, or Tactics? I'm not sure which. Um, I know that Twelve has stuff with Ivelisse. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of 6.4. Well, just like coming in here, there were just a million people gathered around. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, uh, you've probably noticed that my character is looking a bit different from the last time. Uh, I no longer, I have switched from Makote to Aura. Um, which I, I haven't fully figured out if it's Aura, or if it's Aura. Um, but I, I do like the Aura. I always honestly wanted to play the Aura. Um, just ended up in, I ended up, you know, with the Makote. And there was a point where I switched to Aura, and I also once switched to Lala, um, just because I also like them. But I did end up switching back to Makote, um, and so one thing I did this time, um, I don't think it's here, I think it's on a retainer, um, I picked up multiple files and multiple Fantasias um, so that if I played and then I was like nah I really don't want to stay this then I can switch back um, I just had a little extra money um, due to an insurance rebate <clears throat> so I went ahead and uh, you know, use some of that for this. So, seeking the light, Vashan is glad for your arrival. It's funny that Alagon's silver pieces seem to be the highest. They haven't given us anything higher. So, ah, Cassandra, I was about to call for you. Do you remember if you haven't seen any of the other stuff? I have the, uh, the Japanese voices on, um, so <gasps> I, I I play in Japanese because I just prefer their voice actors. I think the Japanese VAs are considerably better. Um, but I have heard all of the voice, not all of the voice lines, but I've heard the some of the lines from the English.
fine. <sighs> like, my mouth was completely dry all of a sudden. Um, so, like, I try to kind of do those voices um, when, I, when I like them a little better. I like the way that uh, Varshan and all of the, like, Rods at Han people have, that they have this kind of a voice. And so I try to give them that kind of a voice. There have been developments concerning the Void Gate that I would discuss with everyone. Coincidentally, I am told Yastola will be returning shortly. I dare to hope she has made progress in devising a way to harness the first light. Come, let us await the others in my chambers. Apologies for the delay. Think nothing of it. I suppose I should... I suppose... One moment. Alright. I just... I realize, like, oh wait! Voice, uh, voice changer. So... Think nothing of it. There we go. I think that's the one I was using for Vertra. I'm not entirely sure. Um, can I definitely remember that it was something growly, and this is the only one that I have. Um, on my, like, quick app here, um, that's growly, so. Unless, like,. Maybe it was like this. No, it's definitely not that one. Alrighty. I pray thou art come with glad tidings. With findings well worth many sleepless nights, I am pleased to report. You may leave that. Leave it there. Thank you. That Zerma should so test the seal, even when not at full strength. Tis every bit as terrible as we feared.
So, did you find it? A way to bring resplendent light to bear against our foe. As a matter of fact, I have. The theory was simple. We harness light from the first and channel it to the thirteenth. Such a feat would require us to manipulate vast amounts of energy, to say the least. Let me guess, the Crystal Tower. I mean, obviously something with this, um box here, but... That was a lot of sorting just to pull out one of many exact same devices. And so I consulted Sin, Sid and his fellows who rose to the challenge and produced bespoke devices. Ether transmitters. These marvelous contraptions can be placed at locations of our choosing to facilitate the flow of aether. In other words, we can use them to create ethereal currents. Such a thing should be possible. We shall first direct aether from Nebeth Arang, where the flood of light was halted into the crystal tower. We all know from personal experience the wonders of which it is capable. Wonders which suit our needs perfectly. Ah! See? They announced very suddenly in the patch notes that Nebetharang um uh what is it? Uh, Radzahan and one other area, I don't remember which, um, we're going to be instanced. And I'm like, that seems really random that these two areas on the first are just suddenly going to be instanced. Like, what the heck is going on in this patch that these areas are going to be instanced? Got it! That, that's what these, uh, we're, we're going to go to those two areas, is why. I should mention that the knowledge Grahatia acquired from the Archimagus Noah was also a source of inspiration. They did also say that there's unique stuff if you have done Eden. And I know not everybody does, like, all of the content. But I always try to do, like, all of the Alliance raids, all of the normal raids, all of the trials, all of the dungeons, before I get to the next expansion. So I do, I have done, and very much enjoy doing, the Eden raids. Once we have infused the Crystal Tower with sufficient aether, we shall send it into the rift. And the aether transmitters that shall guide the energy unto the 13th, like so. One transmitter to the next. In this way, we shall have a lance of light with which would In this way we shall have a lance of light with which to pierce the shield of darkness. Or so I hope. 
No tests we performed were close to the scale of what we ultimately seek to achieve. I cannot guarantee success. With such great minds on our side, how could we possibly fail? It would hardly be the first time we played it by ear. I'm going with the great minds one, because, I mean, come on, this is it. <laughs> Indeed, we've harnessed the wisdom of the past, present, and future to further this cause. I, too, have faith that it will be enough in the end. Science and theory aside, we need to place one more of these transmitters in the first, I take it. A task we must entrust to you, Cassandra. Rest assured I will provide you with what support I can. Can we put any of these into the past? <laughs> I mean, 12,000 12, years ago, you know? I wish to go as well. This world that you brought back from the brink, I would see it with my own eyes. But how dost thou intend to make the journey? In the spirit vessel, that's how you and yours managed it, yes? Void sense summoning also sees the soul separated from flesh. This separation, I can do it. Uh, I can do at will. The principles are similar enough. If you aren't averse to traveling with company, I should be glad to lend Zero my vessel. <laughs> then it's settled. I shall finish preparing the transmitters and then help Zero transfer her soul. Please see to your own preparations and then let us reconvene at Magaduta. Now we wait as the area loads in because there's so many people. Actually, that didn't take as long as I expected. It'll like I hit the pause button and then like it immediately loaded. <laughs> I was like, well. Yustola will be along after she has seen the zero soul. Let us await here. Uh, let us await her here. I don't think I did that voice right. The problem is that I can't, like, I can do it, and then I immediately lose it as soon as I try to do another voice. And I, it's hard to, like, get back for some reason. I don't know why. Apologies for the wait. Everything went smoothly. Sarah's soul is now safely within the spirit vessel. I shall have the alchemist attend her body until she returns. The vessel I place in your care, along with the transmitters and a set of garments for Zero. I've also included instructions on how to operate the crystal tower, courtesy of Grahatia. That's good. Hold your way. I'll join Orion J in the lockets on the moon. They'll need help should the brands fail. A fine idea. For my part, I shall continue to coordinate our efforts while I recover from my wounds. That was definitely not the right voice. Like, I don't know why I have a hard time with 
getting Varshan. Given the task at hand, I suggest you speak with Rin. With her power over light, she is bound to be helpful in our, in, in our efforts. But ere you do that or aught else, but ere you do that or aught else, seek out Beck Lug. As the first foremost authority on Soulcraft, they should be able to grant Zero a corporeal form. As I recall, the old Numao is rather fond of the Cabinet of Curiosity, so that should be your first step. That's all from me. Go forth, warrior of darkness, and make your triumphant return to the first. Also, I turned up the game volume because I was watching my old videos going, wow, I didn't realize that the game volume is so low. Like, when I listen to the just the the volume in general I, I feel like I'm like shouting to be heard um, over the microphone but when I actually went back and looked it was actually pretty like simple you know like the the game volume was much lower than I expected Now, I don't know what the volume is here in comparison. Um, like, hopefully the volume is better. Uh, but I took... Basically, the, the volume of the game in the other videos was at 30%. And I have it at, I think it's 40% now. If I recall. Yeah. So hopefully it's louder, but not that much louder. <laughs> so. do love the music here in the Crystarium. Nope, they are still further up, despite the fact that the quest says this is where they're at. <laughs> it's like a radius, you know? So... Is that you, Cassandra? What brings you back across the rift? Oh uh, yeah, I never had to do Becklug's voice. I don't know what Be I don't remember it even. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Honestly, first you asked me to extract another soul from the spirit vessel. And then you tell me you have designed to turn light to the void? Wicked white Cassandra said nothing ever simple with you. <sighs> I suppose some people can't help but find themselves at the center of world-changing events. Very well. If your home is in peril, then I shall do all in my power to aid you. And if it helps Unu Kalhai with his work, all the better. Speaking of which, I forgot to do the like, finish off those quests. While I tend to your companion, you should go and speak with Rin. By all accounts, she practically lives at the Hatorium this, these days. I will look for you there once I've finished. Got to finish doing the void quests. Uh, apparently, those like apparently there's also something if you've done those, and that almost makes me want to like rush over there and finish them. Um, just because like I'm literally on the last one. Welcome to the future. Like it kind of makes me want to like run over there and do those right quick before anything else. Um. Hortorium. So, Crystalline Mean. I don't think I will. Because it's probably just a minor change in the dialogue. Um, but still. 
Um. Okay, well, I'm here. But I don't remember how to get there. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? That was the wrong way to go. I realized. I actually need to still be there. Because it's at that same level. So, I actually needed to, like, just run over this way. <laughs> I never was good at figuring out how to get around the Crystarium. And... I mean, that, that that's it. <laughs> So, just like, I, I was just never really good at, like, getting around. So, and there she is. Rin, who I've also never had to voice. For video. Muno Daichi no shizen o saisei suru ni wa Hikari ni yori sugi ta kankyou no zoksei balance o ただす必要がある。でも、それだけでは自然環境は元に戻らない。少しずつ命を、まずは植物を移植して、再生の足がかりにしないと。が弱っている状態で土壌の養分を吸い尽くすような植物は植えられないそういう場合に適した種はどれ You've become quite the scholar. So you've taken an interest in gardening. Gardening? How about coffee plants? Coffee no ki. Tashko, atatakai basho de sodatsu mono datte. She's so she's so focused that she just completely like didn't even realize. ヒルと夜の寒暖差も必要でしたよね。それ。ups。それにコーヒービーンがたくさん取れるようになればコーヒークッキーの生産量も前みたいに増えるかも。I <笑><笑> love it. <笑>って、いらしてたんですか? I love it. I love that. That was great. <laughs> it, it, it does make you wonder how much like some of her inner thoughts come in as like my voice um just because you know she, she's just like eh, whatever you know she totally just like ignored it you know <laughs> ここで植物の勉強をさせてもらってるんです。ナイス、ナイス。そちらはどうしてクリスタリウムに週末の件はもう落ち着いたと聞きましたが。Well, <笑> see, we have to channel a lot of light into the crystal tower. And then into the thirteenth. Isekai Kara no Kyo in Taiko Suritame, Hikari no Chikarao Hikari. What does she know? What did I say to Morai Nide Shoka? What does she know? Was a cany can state a hider into the Snagariva. She must all Sakai in Nakanatishima Master. Oh, there's a line from the trailer. 
今も私の中に残っていますそれおっサムタイムズデイパーズエンビクレイドンノージャパニーズアイジュスアスウムデデイフィニッシュトーキングまたせたなゼロの実態化は無事に終わったぞ Hey, I feel like I did pretty close to what, I, it sound, what、uh, Backlog's voice sounds like in Japanese. Kara ni nat the Soul Siphon wa, kono mama kari te o k u To wo so sa se o to yu koto nara ba, kore ni tska ware te o ru kou ke tsu ga hits yo da ro kara na. Here's the instructions. トウの操作方法についてのメモだとなんとまあつづる文字さえ軽やかになったものよ元気でやっているようで何よりだわしはこれを読みつつトウの起動準備に取りかかろう世話になったな大事ないただ我らウモ族にとっての名誉は叶えたお願いにふさわしい対価をもらうことでな<笑>ほう用意と似ているなだったら私のエーテルを食うか<笑> That's not the way it works here. いらんわそれではちっとの心が満たされんではないか<笑> <laughs> That's not the way this works. I just want you to pet them. <laughs> They're a dog. Ma, ma, Futaritomo. Konomi wa, so rezore. So rezore d e s k a r I just want to be pet. Dewa, Mata to dena. To Igai no Jumbi wa, Onoshi no ho, the Yoroshik t a n o m u z That, that's one of my favorite things about the new Mao. Is that like they just want to be pet? Reen. Shkashi, Koko ga honto ni hikari ni nomare ta sekai na no ka? Just seen it before I saved it. So, I am not a man who is 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 a 少し歩いてみませんかおはあ、I love this music so much That is one thing that I do miss from Shadowbringers. Like, 
when I was sitting here playing through Shadowbringers, I loved just being in the Crystarium because the music is so good here. Like, I, th this is, you know, I don't often say, like, oh, I miss X, because it's usually when it's like, I miss something, you know, it's just like, you, you, know, you can always go back and read, you know, go, like, you know, I miss the music in the Crystarium, I can always come back here, you know, but it really is just like, because I never come back here. I really do find myself, every time I come back here, being like, man, I miss just being in this world, hearing this music at all times, you know? I can always come back here, yes, but it's not, you know, coming back here isn't the same as always being in this world with this, you know, always having this music, you know, unless, you know, I make this like my home and I sit here, but still, I've heard something of your deeds here, how the warrior of, of how the warrior of darkness fought on despite light ravaging her very being, had I the self same strength of spirit, perhaps I could have done more for my world. No, it is not over yet. The 13th isn't beyond saving. That's why we're here. So, where to? Just lead the way. I'm gonna go ahead and take those Alagon silver pieces because otherwise I'm selling items for 33 gil. Bum. Hey, Ridden has been added to our unending codex. Along with a few other things. Uh, Ryan Waters. Nice. Oracle of Light. This young maiden of the first fought the Sin Eaters alongside the Warrior of Darkness and played an instrumental role in restoring night to Norvant. It is impossible to speak of Ryan without speaking of the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. Approximately a century ago, when the Flood of Light threatened to engulf the first, people of Nabath Arang bore witness to a woman who single-handedly halted the encroaching radiance. Amidst the tumult, someone was heard crying out, Minfilia! And so it was that Norvant's mysterious savior was named. Fifteen years later, when the king of Vobert fell to Sin Eaters, a girl was discovered who could not be turned by their corruption. With her hair of spun gold and eyes of clear sapphire, she bore an uncanny resemblance to the legendary oracle. Inheriting her name, this Minfilia went on to be a beacon of hope in mankind's struggle against the Sin Eater threat. But as is the fate of many a soldier, she eventually fell in battle. Some years later, however, another good will, another girl would appear who possessed the same distinct features and an immunity both. In this way, the cycle continued with a new Minfilia emerging as if to replace the one who had died before her. The strange phenomenon was brought about by none other than the original Minfilia, the antecedent of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, who journeyed from the Source to deliver the First from destruction. Having quelled the Flood, she began reincarnating into the bodies of suitable young girls so that the Blessing of Light, the source of resistance to sin eater corruption, might endure. Those who were vessels for Minfilia's soul invariably manifested her features, serving to identify the bearer of the blessing. Once Vothri became supreme leader of Yulmore, however, the oracle was deemed no longer necessary. In truth, Vothri feared the oracle and the hope she symbolized, and so he ordered General Ranjit to find and imprison the next Minfilia to appear. That girl was Rhine, though she was yet to be called thus, and she was locked up deep in the city's dungeon before she had seen five summers. For years she languished there, deprived of the opportunity to develop her powers. 
until she was rescued by Thancred, whom the Crystal Exar could summon from the source. The days that followed were filled with excitement and discovery for the young maiden. From Thancred, she learned how to live and fight, and over time he became as a father to her. Yet even as she grew closer to him, she began to question his motivations for taking her under his wing. She came to, be she came to believe it was the original Moonphilia that he had sought to save, that he would be happier if she surrendered her body to the woman's soul, and the thought tormented her throughout her journey with the Warrior of Darkness. In time, the moment of truth would arrive. Tracking down the remaining Light Wardens required, a harness, required that she harness greater power as the Oracle. It was during a bitter confrontation with Ranjit that she finally found the strength of will to walk her own path. With Thancred laying his life on the line to secure her escape, she pressed on to inherit her namesake's power and arise as the Oracle in her own right. Driven by the desire to fulfill the legacy of those who went before her, she returned with her hair and eyes restored to her natural hue, and from the man who was her father in all the ways that mattered, she received the blessing by which she is now known. Received the name, rather. When the light wardens that once plagued the realm were no more, Ryan now dedicates her days to restoring life to the first. Be it bejeweled with stars or brilliant blue, the sky never fails to remind her of Journey's past, as well as her family, whose love she feels no matter the distance between them. Sid Garland established the Ironworks of, in 1562 so that Magitech technology may, might spread to Eorzea, lessening the Garlean's dangerous monopoly on the science. With a combination of both Garlean defectors and young Eorzean engineers in its employ, the manufacturers create everything from airships to cerulean driven trains. There are even scaled models for the younglings of well to do houses. The company is second to none when it comes to airships, and it was but a 12 moon after Sid's defection from the Empire that he designed a civilian model completely craftable with Eorzean resources. Since forging their partnership with Highwind Skyways, the Ironworks has procured countless airships, as largely responsible for the current era's convenience in sky travel. While Sid remains as the president of the company in name, during his five-year absence following the calamity, there was a woman named Jessie who saw to the everyday management of the ironworks. It is said that she remains at the company's helm even now, as his duties often lead him far afield, and hers was the hand that signed the contract enlisting former Imperial Tribunus and engineering prodigy Nero Tolskalva into their ranks. Working tirelessly by the motto, Freedom Through Technology, Sid and his fellow engineers have been a reliable source of innovation. Through their inventions, they prove, provided the Warrior of Light and their comrades with many a vital breakthrough, and they will doubtless continue to do so. Long ago, the Crystal Exarch came to a fateful conclusion. Only a mighty warrior who could defeat the Light Wardens, as well, as well as resist their corruption, to deliver salvation to Norvant. The sole individual he knew capable of such feats, the Warrior of Light, abided in the source, and thus did he labor to adapt the Crystal, crystal Tower's cross-rift travel capabilities, that he might bring the hero onto the first. Success proved elusive, and after much time and effort, instead of the Warrior of Light, Nixarp ended up summoning their fellow Scions, and incompletely. Only their souls successfully made the journey. Though he could weave for them something akin to corporeal forms, their actual bodies remained locked in slumber in the source, and the connection between flesh and soul would eventually fail, resulting in death. To wit, it was imperative that he found a way to return his unintended guest safely home. When teleporting, an individual takes their possessions with them by virtue of recognizing those objects as extensions of the self. It was this mechanism that served as the basis of the solution. Receptacles would be created to hold each of the Scion souls, while the Warrior of Light, who had been summoned whole and complete, would then carry back across the rift to the source. The finished product, the Spirit Vessel, 
Also to in true inspiration from white orosite, Monbrita's ingenious invention for capturing an Asian soul. However, one other obstacle had to be overcome, the separation of mind and memory. While the two are intrinsically entwined, like words writ upon parchment, the latter is wont to fade when the soul is placed into a vessel. In seeking to ensure that their memories remained intact, the companions looked to Algon memory transference, a technique which required that the spirit vessels be imbued with royal Algon blood. This blood was provided by the Exarch himself, and it also served to turn these vessels into keys for controlling the Crystal Tower, whose operation was restricted to the ancient Empire's rulers. Appealing to the masses, Ryan is eager to help you see your plan Set your plan in motion. Oh, good. Freaking not materi nine materials. Frick. They're so useless. <laughs> Let's head for Nepath Arang. Since Ciro can't teleport to the ether right there, we should probably travel by a morrow. Hey, Selena! Ah, there you are. Thank goodness I'm not too late. Selena, I take it back luck told you why she's here. More or less. You know what? I don't know that I finished taking my medications this morning. And I am starting to feel heartburn. That's usually a sign that I have not taken my Nexium, so I better do that. Greetings and welcome. I am Lena, captain of the guard here at the Crystarium. Cyril, is there something you require? When I learned of your plan to gather light at the Crystal Tower, I felt compelled to warn you of the potential repercussions. I know that you I know well that you would never use the tower for ill, nor without due caution. Even so I believe I understand. Ever since the flood, light has been a source of pain and misery. Some fear it still, no doubt. Yeah, I can see that. Which is to say, <gasps> that some would be uncomfortable at the sight of it wielded as we intend. <gasps> that is your concern, is it not? <gasps> Precisely. It was light that nearly consumed our world. To use the Crystal Tower to harness this destructive force risks turning the tower into an object of fear. You may convince the Crystarium of the necessity of your cause, but it will not be easy to win over those outside our walls. I worry this will undermine the fragile trust that we have only begun to build with some communities. They may misunderstand your intentions. Tell me, tell me who they are and what misunderstandings they may have. I shall allay their concerns. Cassandra and I will go with her. Please, people know us. Our presence will put them at ease. Thank you. I realize this will delay the execution of your plans, but I see no other way. I know that, like, all three of these voices are basically the same, but what can I do? As for where to begin, I dare say Yulmore would be as good a place as any. Though ours is an amicable relationship now, we are at odds for long years. Yulmore was once ruled by a tyrant who wielded the power of light. Though he promised salvation, in truth, he made slaves of his subjects and sought to destroy any who defied him. He's gone now, thankfully, 
and a good man named Chai News was elected mayor. Relations between our cities have improved much since then. Even so, there's a lingering rivalry between us. If the Crusarium were to harness light without warning, some Umorans might suspect we have ulterior motives. Thus, it would be prudent to give them prior notice. If you explain that you seek to save the Warrior of Darkness' home, though, I should hope that they would give you their blessing. Once again, yours is a name that commands respect and trust in the domains of your former enemies, as it does in Garlemald. It's because I've done a lot for a lot of people. Where else should we visit? After Yulmor, I would suggest the Raktika Greatwood. Yeah, that's the other area, the Raktika Greatwood. So there must be a lot in Raktika that, um, like, that the, the they needed to, like, instance it. There you'll find the Knights Blessed, a small collective which worships darkness, as well as the Vis, Guardians of the Secrets of Ancient Ranka. The Vis are insular, in, insular and will likely not object unless the light encroaches upon their territory. The Knights Blessed, on the other hand, would greatly benefit from your assurances that your actions will not adversely affect their lives. People who worship darkness, fitting for a world all but consumed by light. Very well, we will treat for the people of Yulmore and the Knights Blessed. Here, take these whisper weeds. I will let you know when all is in readiness with the tower. I don't know why I'm putting them in this outfit, but right then, I should tend to my own tasks. Explaining the situation to the people of the Crystarium and arranging for your transmitters to be placed here and in Nabetharang. We're truly grateful. Thank you, Lena. I still wonder if you can get that salute somehow. Maybe through a side quest that I just haven't done. Come, let's head to Yulmore. Hopefully Chinese News will know how best to present our plan to everyone. While they take the long way, I will take the short way. And yet, somehow, we will get there at the same time. <laughs> I do like that the... Like, the, the etherites are, you know, canon in the game. Lots of people over here. Can always tell where I need to go. It's Dulia Chai. Seriously, one of my favorite characters in freaking... Um, in freaking Shadowbringers. I love her so much. Also, I don't know. I just like the fact that she's a big lady. <laughs> like, you don't see many of that in, you know, ma many characters like that in video games. Because they don't have to do that, you know. 
so most of the time games just don't do that. Greetings, warrior of darkness. If you've come out of concern for an esteemed mayor, fear not. He runs the city well and is ever prepared to work closely with the people. The better to hear their voice. I didn't mean to click on you, but that's fine. Good gods, if it isn't Cassandra! To what do we owe the pleasure? Not another world ending threat, surely not. Surely not? <laughs> I love Chai. Uh, we're planning a great undertaking that may be con of concern to the people of Yulmar. There's a sensitive matter about which we thought it best to consult the city's esteemed mayor. I doubt I'd ever describe myself as such. But anyway, I can tell you're up to something. The kind of something I might want nothing to do with. But regardless, I should probably know. What is it? We're going to beam like a bunch of light out of the empty and into freaking the ta crystal tower. So... Gathering light with the crystal tower, you say? I would be lying if I said that doesn't bring back unpleasant memories. And I believe I speak for most of you, Morns. We can hardly blame you. We have no reason to question your motives, of course. Neither yours nor those of the Crystarium's leadership. A world engulfed in darkness, its corrupted inhabitants attempting to invade our, your own. It's rather a lot to process, but the desire to save one's home is something anyone can understand. I'm touched that you show such concern for our feelings, despite the gravity of your plight. Very well, you have my support. As if there was ever any doubt. Right. Let's gather the people at once. An explanation from you all to ensure everyone understands. N not so fast, Tyrrhus. If I were to reveal everything at this juncture, many would be deeply unsettled, regardless of any insurances I offered. Now we need to first set the stage. Spread the word of the Warrior of Darkness' plight. That she's on a mission to save her world, as she once did ours. Once the tale is common knowledge, I shall call an assembly and explain the need to harness the power of light to a populace far more amenable to the idea. To that end, might I trouble you to speak with our citizens about your predicament? It would be more effective to hear the details from the hero herself, more likely to inspire solidarity for your cause. Hmm, so we appeal to the desire to aid the warrior of darkness to present light in a more positive, well, light. Well played, Master Choi. Also, it has gotten hot since I turned the air conditioner off so that I could do Vertra. If it's, if it's best that you do the talking, then we'll come with you. Fine by me. I'm content to observe. I got this. Once you have finished your rounds, I ask that you report to me. I should like to know how the people react. Lead the way, Cassandra. We'll be right behind you. All right. Time to run around and talk to people. Now, what is this quest? Disciple of the land or hand. Got it. That, I think, is the special, like, DOH, DOL tools. In that conversation alone, I could see how much the people here trust you. Thanks to Julius and Thancred, I've grown better at recognizing it. What? You've met Thancred, too? I mean, uh, right, of course you have. I don't know why I said that. Right, let's find some citizens to speak with. I suggest we start here in the canopy before heading down to the understory 
and then the derelicts. So you're right and I'll accompany you. Cool. Alright, let's go talk to some peoples around the uh, city of Yulmore and inform them of certain happenings that are currently going on. Discuss the beehive, a tavern, and an extravagant one at that. Substances engage with poles in such strange ways. Are they pantomiming a battle? Soldiers thrusting their spear into the ground and using it to launch themselves at an enemy, perhaps? Given this world's violent history, it makes sense that displays of martial prowess would become popular entertainment. That's, um... That's definitely not what's going on over there, Zero. It's, uh... It, it, th th there's, there's other things... There, there, there are there are other things. Sanket once told me that people come to these places to savor some memories and drown the others. I imagine the beehive was built primarily to help you Morans forget about sin eaters, even if only for a time. But now they can simply enjoy themselves. I can see the appeal, but don't worry. And I'm still a bit too young for it. Good. Don't get into that mess. I used to live for the moment, not caring what might happen on the morrow. Now that we have peace, I find myself thinking about the future and feeling anxious. What? Your home is threatened with destruction? Wicked white, why are you wasting time in a drinking hole? But as I say it, I feel the sting of hypocrisy. Gods, I need to take control of my life. I need to face my troubles head on. And the same goes for you. I mean, yeah, they're not wrong. We do need to face our uh, current troubles head on. So, what was that one? Hero's Gauntlet, got it. Um, I believe we need to now head, head downstairs. <laughs> Got stuck on the freaking table. Could you imagine that? Like, you're running along in real life. You know? You're just like, do 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 And then you just, like, run into a table. Except that the table just, like, sticks. Like, stays, you know, completely fastened to the ground and it's just like I can't get over this <laughs> and then your only option is to like jump you know that would be like wild um let's see where do I need to go now I think I need to go directly downstairs to the understory so actually, that's not even where I need to go. I need to go to the transport, the, the stairs, or rather, that are over here. And then head down. Um, but I think we will do that next time. So I do hope that you've enjoyed thus far. If you have, feel free to subscribe. You can check the video, or you can check the playlist for the rest of the post and walker stuff. It is all, you know, all five patches of content are all in the one playlist. Um, you can also check the end walker playlist and leave a comment down below. Tell me if you want me to, like, I know I can't do the game blind at this point, right? Um, but would you like to see me? I, I know that I started doing Realm Reborn forever ago with Kazumi, and I'm still at that same spot with Kazumi, so I could, like, continue it. 
Um, so let me know if you want to see me go through, like, all of the content. Because I would have no problems doing that. It would be fun to do. Um, so. And then we could also do it properly at level as well. So that would be nice. Um, but with that, I'll see you all next time. It is not farewell. It is goodbye. See you later. Although, I say that having forgotten to throw up the Patreon thing. By the way, since I didn't say this previously, there are links to Patreon and Discord down below in the video description. Feel free to check them out. Help support the channel. And come on out, hang out with us, chat, and all that. So... See you later for real this time. <laughs>